Welcome. The goal of this module is to help you determine the type of network policy you should use, either wireless only, wireless and routing, or a Bonjour only network policy. In Enterprise Mode, if you go to the Configuration menu, you are taken to the Network Configuration page. Here you will see a list of network policies. Network policies contain the majority of settings that will be assigned to all or a set of Arrowhive devices in your network, including SSIDs, LAN port settings, user access policies, IPsec VPN, stateful firewall policies, and much more. You can create one network policy for your entire company, or create multiple network policies and assign them to different sets of Arrowhive devices if you require things like having different SSIDs at different locations. On this page, you see a list of existing network policies. You can select and use an existing network policy, clone an existing network policy, or create a new network policy to assign to your devices. At this time, I will click New to show you the options you have available. The first item to configure is the network policy name, which I try to make descriptive to state whether I am creating a policy for APs or routers and APs. For example, I can call this policy Corp Wireless because I will use it to define the wireless LAN settings for my APs in the corporate network. At a later time, I may want to create a different network policy for all the devices in my branch offices which I may call branch networks, for example. The next thing to configure is the Hive. A Hive is a name and a password that will be assigned to all of the devices assigned to this network policy. Devices that are in the same Hive communicate with each other using Arrowhive's cooperative control protocols for features like fast and secure layer 2 and layer 3 roaming, radio channel and power management, wireless mesh, AP load balancing, and Bonjour Gateway services, to name a few. You can use the same Hive name for all of your devices, even if your devices are assigned to different network policies. You also have the option to assign devices to different network policies with different Hive names if you do not want them to communicate with each other. It's your choice. Next, you can choose the type of network policy, wireless only, wireless plus routing, or, or Bonjour only. I will give an example of each type of network policy starting with wireless only. A wireless only policy is used when you have a deployment of Arrowhive APs. You can also use a wireless only policy if you have a deployment of Arrowhive routers and Arrowhive APs, but you want to create a separate wireless policy for the APs that are behind the routers. For example, here is a wireless only network policy that I configured. It has an employee SSID secured with WPA2 Enterprise using 802.1x with EEP and validates users with the corporate radius server. Different VLANs are assigned to corporate users based on whether their device is in the corporate domain or whether it is a device brought in by the user such as an iPad, iPhone, or Android device. I also have a guest SSID providing secure access with Arrowhive's private PSK feature where unique PSKs are given to guests by a lobby ambassador or an authorized employee. The guest user profile policy assigns a guest to their own VLAN and uses a stateful firewall policy to only permit access to the internet. Next, a wireless plus routing network policy is selected if you want to configure Arrowhive routers or a mix of Arrowhive APs and routers at multiple sites. The wireless plus routing network policy provides a unified interface for wireless LAN wired LAN and IPsec VPN settings. For example, a wireless plus routing network policy is used if you have a few to a thousand or more teleworker sites, each with a single Arrowhive router, or for larger offices that have a Arrowhive router, or for larger offices that have an Arrowhive router with Arrowhive APs behind them, both of which may need to provide secure access to a corporate network through a secure IPsec VPN. Here's an example of a wireless plus routing network policy for branch office networks. There are SSIDs for employee and guest access. 
When an employee connects to the SSID or connects to a LAN port, they are verified using 802.1x EEP with the corporate radius server. After authentication, the AeroHive router will provide the client its IP address settings. Hive Manager assigns the router at each site with its own IP subnet and DHCP scope based on the parent network assigned in the user profile. The employees are then permitted to access the corporate network through an IPsec VPN. Guests that connect to the guest SSID or guest LAN port are not permitted through the VPN, but are permitted by Stateful Firewall Policy to access the Internet. Finally, the Bonjour Network Policy is selected if you do not have an AeroHive Wireless LAN or AeroHive Router deployment, but are using one or more AeroHive APs for the sole purpose of providing Bonjour Gateway services for Apple devices or Bonjour capable applications. If you have an AeroHive Wireless LAN or AeroHive Router deployment, you can enable Bonjour Gateway services in the wireless only or wireless plus routing policies. For this example, I will leave the configuration of a new network policy and, and instead choose the option to clone one of the quick start network policies. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video. You can now proceed to the next video in the Getting Started series.